If you've been going to the gym and working out hard but yet you're not seeing any progress, then the answer could be that your testosterone levels are low and you're doing things on a daily basis that are reducing it and you don't even know about it. So in this video, I'm going to break down the top five science-backed testosterone killers and give you the recipe to increase your testosterone and stop doing these things so you can build more muscle and more strength and feel more confident. Now, the first testosterone killer is ultra-processed and high-sugar diets. Yes, you heard that correctly. Your diet plays a massive role in your testosterone levels now i really wanted to start with this one because the united states 72 percent of the diets in the united states are made up of ultra processed foods and high sugar diets ultra processed diets are high in calories but yet low in the essential nutrients you need to make progress and also keep your body functioning optimally and they have a ton of chemicals and the one thing about excessive sugar consumption is is that it spikes your insulin levels and chronically high insulin levels can decrease the sex hormone binding globulin which normally carries testosterone in the bloodstream so what does that mean for you more testosterone becomes free and inactive reducing its overall effective levels now in order to avoid that happening you have to make changes in your diet and the best place to start is by shopping in the whole food sections and cooking your own foods. Doing this is simple, but yet extremely effective. Okay, so now let's move on to factor number two, which is a lack of physical activity. Guys, you have to move your body. Now, research shows that if you're just sitting at home, playing video games and on social media all day long, doing nothing, not moving your body, you're destroying your potential and your testosterone levels. And here's another thing, guys. Lack of physical activity also makes you a faster you're less attractive and you're more prone to diseases but do not worry there is a cure research shows that weight training increases testosterone levels in men not only does more physical activity increase your testosterone levels but you also build more muscle and strength and more muscle mass and exercise have been associated with increased confidence self-esteem and the psychological benefits of exercise including improved mood and self-perception are believed to increase testosterone production so again make sure you're moving your body and again guys i don't want to say just lift weights just taking 10 to 20 minutes out of your day to go on a walk or do some home exercises like push-ups planks whatever it may be just do something move your body it will help you out in so many different ways other than just increasing your testosterone levels because remember guys the goal is to be an overall healthy person so now let's move on to reason number three which is excessive alcohol consumption now mind you guys i'm not telling you not to get lit but studies have shown that excessive alcohol consumption hurts testosterone levels so let's take a look at this study right it showed that men who drank eight or more standard drinks per week had a 4.37 times higher risk of testosterone deficiency than the non-drinking group you don't want to be part of that group guys trust me and unfortunately alcohol has other negative impacts on your body that also reduce your testosterone levels such as poor sleep lower feelings of all being and lack of progress in the gym so alcohol consumption has both a direct and an indirect effect on lowering your testosterone so now let's move on to number Number four which is stress look guys we all get stressed at times right and it's and it's natural it's normal and we cannot avoid it but we can combat it the number one problem with stress when it comes to your testosterone levels is that it raises your body's cortisol levels and this is normal and can be a good thing but the problem is chronic stress cortisol's job in your body is to give you an extra burst of energy but this energy boost comes at a cost cortisol levels tells your body to lower its testosterone levels so higher cortisol levels and lower testosterone means less muscle mass and strength and it also lowers your confidence more importantly chronic stress is bad for your heart blood pressure and your mental health so do yourself a favor and find out what is stressing you and try to reduce your stress levels by meditating talking to a professional or someone close to you whatever it is you have to figure it out so now let's move on to reason number five and that is sleep deprivation now this is one that I deal with myself on a regular basis so trust me I know from personal experience how detrimental this can be to your testosterone levels and your overall feelings of well-being sleep is the ultimate source of proper hormone regulation so when you don't sleep you throw everything out of whack your body struggles to produce testosterone properly and studies show a lack of sleep reduces testosterone in healthy males by 10 to 15 percent that is a significant amount very very 
very significant. So make sure you're getting your proper sleep. Now, sleep deprivation also increases cortisol that we spoke about earlier on. Lack of sleep will also inhibit general recovery and recovery from the gym. So if you're not sleeping properly, that means you're not seeing the benefits you should be seeing from your hard workout. So make sure you're getting good quality sleep. Now, the worst part of sleep deprivation is the constant, constant feeling of fatigue, lack of motivation, brain fog, and less resistance to stress. So try to fix your sleep by going to bed around the same time every single day. Waking up at the same time every single morning and getting that sunlight, my man. Also, avoid blue lights and make sure to get off social media two hours before you go to bed so you're not stuck doom scrolling, looking at absolutely nothing that's going to help you in any way in your life, okay? And guys, that is it for this video, but I just wanted to name those five things that reduce your testosterone levels. So make sure you keep an eye on them and stay on track. So please make sure to like and subscribe. That's it for this video, y'all. Peace.